I mean, it's worse, but it's more fun. May May is the day we are going to drive around in Forza Horizon 4's craziest car. This is a car that everybody's driven around in so far, but very few people actually own. I was lucky enough to be able to pick one of these up on the auction house a little while ago. If you go over to the auction house and you go searching through the cars, there's some cars in here that are a little bit cheeky. If you go over to Austin and the Austin Taxi, but there's also the Austin Taxi HS, which is the Austin FX4 Taxi from the Horizon Story. They are super, super rare, but every now and again, one of them pops up on the auction house. If you are lucky enough to find one, buy it ASAP, because it is one of the rarest cars and without a doubt, the craziest car in Forza Horizon 4. So the way you can actually tell that this is a Horizon Story Taxi, there's actually a little glitch with it. If you open the door, the letters stay on the side. Completely bone stock, actually. It's the same as the normal tax taxi, actually, with a solid 68 horsepower. Engine swaps. This is where things get a little crazy. We've got, we've got seven different engines, straight six, V8, Straight 4 Rally, V12, uh, 6.7 twin tur- what, what's that from? What's this 6.7 twin turbo from? And a 7.4 liter twin turbo engine. Like, for the regular taxi, we've got a plebe 4 engines. We've got a straight 6 V8 and a straight 4 Rally. But yeah, there's a lot of really funky stuff that's going on with this taxi. Another strange thing about it, it's got two body kits. So there's this one, which is- pretty standard it's normal sort of taxi looking then we've got the chop top and the chop top adds on the Aisha's taxi stuff which is cool but it also yeah that's some fat tires with a ph thick with two c's i'm just saying that is so sick and then of course we've also got a crazy wide body too which uh looks pretty good so uh we're gonna go thick tires because I mean, why the hell not? 1,700 horsepower, Funko Motorsports engine with all-wheel drive. Uh, oh, we've actually got some stuff here that we can change. We can remove the, remove the little front bumper, the little rear bumper as well. Get out of wing. We can remove the rear bumper as well. Looks good, looks good. I want to see more of those fat tires. What size are those tires, actually? Oh, it doesn't let me see. Well, we'll make the fronts 225s. Oh my god, look at the off-road tires. That is ridiculous. I think we gotta go drag tires. Like, when you're given the opportunity to have tires wider than my goddamn future, you need to go drag tires. It actually slams it down so hard it hits. <laughs> I'm gonna go through a couple of different builds with this thing because this thing is so ridiculous and can do so many things. It's crazy. But for the moment, this'll be our first build. Nearly 2,000 horsepower. Huge mega wide drag tires. It looks pretty normal But it's so fast There is no wheel spin. Oh my god. Okay doesn't turn does not turn at all. Okay Hi Highway in three two one and go It doesn't spin wheels gone 130 50 200 miles an hour and I didn't even it doesn't turn I didn't even tune the thing. I just put a bunch of horsepower on and a bunch of like big fat tires. And that's about it. The acceleration from 100 to 200 is ridiculous. There are some tunes for this car available. And I thought it'd be fun to try some of them out. DJ put together a wheelie taxi. Duh. Who's gentleman sausage? Do I have this suck to get one of those? <laughs> So, uh, this is a tune that DJ built that allows the taxi to wheelie like a beast. It's still got the huge fat tires. They are on drag tires. It looks like it's on, like, rally suspension, but I don't know. DJ's a wizard at building cars. So I just, I just gun it. Okay, three, two, one, and... Oh. <laughs> well, that's literally the easiest thing I've ever seen in my life, DJ. 
<laughs> All right, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm not pressing the brake. I'm not revving it. I'm just gonna, just gonna. <laughs> Literally, the coolest car in the game. Guys, it's so, it's wheelie cool. I wanna see how far I can get it to go. Third gear, oh, we're almost wheeling at 100 miles an hour. Go! Yep, this is uh, the new meta in Forza Horizon. Uh, we hit a car. <laughs> I honestly wish there was a way to get this thing not from the auction house because it's just so goddamn cool, so over the top. It's awesome. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this tune. 1,700 horsepower. It's D-class. Okay, we need, we need to do a race. I'm gonna allow the AI to take any car. Any car they want against me, yeah. One of two things is actually about to happen here. A, I'm not actually gonna move off the line, or B, I'm gonna absolutely destroy the AI. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be the first one. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> it was the first one. <laughs> this is the most stupid thing I have ever seen. Who would have ever guessed 2,000 horsepower in D-Class? with the thinnest tires possible in an old taxi <laughs> wouldn't go well well i'm just saying somebody wanted a drift build of the thing so um i mean here you go i don't know if it's possible to figure out but i wonder how long the tires would last on this thing in real life 2000 horsepower going into those tires it wouldn't be very long there's no way you guys are like, one minute. Oh, I've lost it! Ow. I think all the other AI is done, by the way. I think it's just us who's still in the race. I'm in sixth gear, by the way. If you hear the engine sounding like it's about to give up on life. I can't shift any higher, but... Okay. A as it turns out, 2,000 horsepower in a D-Class car... Not a good idea. I will swap on simulation damage. Guys, I think I broke my rear tire. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my left rear. 17, 18, 19%, 20. Right rear isn't even spinning. Oh my God, you're right. Fire, what did you do to this tune? There we go, 80, nearly there, 85. The tire's bright red. 90, 97, and 100% damage on the left rear. It doesn't, um, I might have broke it. Uh, for those of you wondering, by the way, no, you can't actually pop tires on simulation damage. Your tire just has zero grip, i.e. why it's just doing a burnout with one wheel. Oh, okay. I want a drag tune in A-Class. So, currently, the fastest A-Class drag car in the game is actually the PLP 50, as weird as that is. This thing, with its insane tires and everything, is actually faster than the PLP 50, which is ridiculous. You can see the people who have the Austin FX4 Taxi, Horizon Edition, and then the people who have the PLP 50. So, if we, if we want to get in there, 12 seconds, 0.7. Can I do it? Let's give it a go. See what we got. Austin Taxi. Oh, that was a poor start. No, I've already screwed it up. I already screwed it up. I gotta hold it in first way longer. The fastest time to fail ever was that right there. All right, and go. Oh, I shifted up too early again. These gears are ridiculous. They just go. 208, 221 miles an hour across the line. Are you kidding me? Oh, a 12.8. We almost got a 12.7. You're spinning like no tomorrow, says DJ. I know, but when I tried not to spin, it didn't move. Less power off the line. That's going to be the answer. I don't know if that's good enough. It's so difficult to keep this car in a straight line. Really difficult. That's too slow as well. It's like you need to find the balance that allows you to not spin your wheels, but at the same time get off the line as fast as possible. That was better, but we can still do better than that. I'm 
Tried shifting up really early there. And again there. I just want less wheel spin. That's the main thing. That's slower. 12.779. It blitzes the peels. Ah, oh, ranked 11, says DJ. <laughs> Damn it. Now only if you can get into the tens. 10 seconds is not possible. And shift up. It's definitely slower, but it's grippier. Way grippier. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, that was slower. That was way slower. Yeah, well, there you go. Whatever. All you need to know, long story short, the Horizon Taxi HS is ridiculous at drag racing. Like, actually stupid at drag racing. I just want to see the stock engine because Fireprof Cargo said there's no engine sound with this thing. Yep. Yep. That's super weird. <laughs> super. Boys, I know everybody really wanted Tesla back in the game. I'm proud to announce they're officially here with the Austin FX Taxi. It's London's new electric taxi company. Look at the track width. That is ridiculous. Cars are not supposed to have tires that are about four times bigger in the rear than they are in the front. I, I don't know if it's just me, but I love having the ability to just sit at the line and just be like, nah, you know what? I don't feel like using my four wheels. Two wheels. Two wheels is the name of the game. It's so sick. If the ground was drier, I'm sure I'd be able to wheelie this entire thing. Well, I, like I said, I have an idea with wheeling at some point in the future, so it should be pretty cool. Nathan says try off-roading. I'll, I'll give it one go for off-roading. We'll see what we can do. Everybody's saying toss the Funko engine in. So there you go. 1,750 horsepower. All-wheel drive because rally car. Rally life. I'm not going to change any of the body panels or anything. We're fine like that. I am going to get the big chunky off-road tires. Yep. Look at the lift. That's ridiculous. It lifts it three inches. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do as well? I don't know why, but I kind of like it. The problem is, is there's no rally races that are gonna be in this game that are gonna be able to do this thing justice. Like, it's gonna be stupid fast. I don't know why the game thinks the Ford Focus is the best car in the goddamn universe, but apparently the game's about to get smashed in an Austin FX taxi. We need the 2,000 horse- Okay, it's really fast. Stupid fast, actually. This thing is actually very strange because it's stupid fast and it's super hard to drive, but it is kind of manageable. Like, it's a... Ugh. It's about to go at any second. But when it does work, works very well. It, it genuinely doesn't have brakes powerful enough to slow the thing down. That's one problem for sure. The big tires, I thought they would help us be mega grippy. And I mean, they kind of do. It's not spinning its wheels that much. It's just really hard. Oh, we're on two wheels again. It's just really hard to drive. Like, I'm sure if you practice with it enough, this thing would be unstoppable. DJ says you should have done wide body. What's the difference with the wide body, DJ? I don't, I don't, I don't get it, because I like the thick tire option. Yes! Come on! Pass the focus on the final lap! My first couple of laps were practice. Now we're in. Oh, man, it's good. More planted on the ground. Oh, I don't care about that. That's fine. It's more fun like this. I mean, it's worse, but it's more fun. Me, me, maybe I should have cared about uh, <laughs> how stable it was. I was winning the race and complaining about it being more fun tipping over. Well, there you go. There is the Austin FX4 Taxi Horizon Edition. Absolute beast of a car. If you find one on the auction house, like I was saying, pick it up because it is unbelievable. Super, super cool car. Super rare. But overall, just a blast to drive. Obviously, there's some glitches with it, but that's okay. It's still just fun to mess around with. So cool.